Hello and welcome. So today we are going to implement Node SAS so we could run SAS code in React.js. The first thing we'll do is install the packages. So open up your terminal within the project directory and yarn add dash dash dev for a dev dependency watch. Next yarn add dash dash dev node dash SAS. All right, just head into your package.json just to confirm that they are in there in dev dependencies towards the bottom, node SAS and watch. If they're both in there, the next thing we will do is write the script to run this. So we'll label the script SCSS because that's the type of SAS we will be writing. Now, in order to write a script in this package.json, we need to call what we want to run, which will be node SAS. Oh. Make sure you put this in quotations, very, very important. Node-sass, and Node-sass takes a few things. First, we wanna watch, and that's the other package that we installed. So we're telling Node-sass to watch a directory, and the file directory will be src, the src folder, and then another folder called scss. And then we want Node-sass to output. This is after Node-sass compiles our SAS code, and it compiles it into CSS code that could be read by the browser, or is it going to output? SRC slash styles. So that's a simple script, and that script is now done and usable. We can't actually run it right this second because we need to create these folders. So let's create those folders quickly. In SRC, let's add a folder. We'll call it SCSS. Now we'll create one more folder because we had this SCSS and this styles. So one more folder called styles. The SCSS is where we will do all of our work. So in here, we wanna create some sort of hierarchy. I suggest that we organize it with a base folder. The base folder can hold all the main things, your main resets, some of your typographies, and one more folder in here called the components folder. Now the components folder will hold all of your SAS code for each single component. So we have this looking good with some separation into different folders, but in the SCSS folder itself, I want there to be only one file. In there, write main.scss. Now we have a file called main.scss that's just in the SCSS folder, not in the base and not in the components. This is the one file that we wanna track. Because as we output into here, into our styles, when we go through our package.json, take a look at that again, when we go from node SAS and we're watching this folder and we're outputting to this folder, we don't want to output the folders themselves, just the final code. And we'll import all the final code from the folders into this main SCSS. And we will make sure that the code in these folders gets ignored. And how do we do that? We do that very simply. Let's make a base.scss. And what did I do differently there? I put an underscore before base. So underscore base.scss. The underscore tells it not to track this file. That is important so that our styles folder doesn't have a whole bunch of other folders in there that we won't be using. We only want to track one file, the main.scss. So I'm going to put my reset into this base.scss. And if you're following along with the full tutorial, please just put the reset in here because we do need to do that. Uh, if you're not, you could put anything into this file as long as it's uh, CSS or SCSS and it's clean. Uh, so this is just CSS and that's just fine. Now it's sitting in this folder, but it can't be seen because it's not being tracked. So we need to import it into this folder, the main. So at import and quotations dot slash base, and then we'll import that. And it'll just come in as a base, which is fine. And it looks better that way, it looks cleaner. Now, everything that is in this file, that's in our base folder, in our base.scss, is now included in this file, the one file being tracked. Now let's save up our package.json where we wrote our script so that it does run. Make sure it's all saved here. And we're just going to run the script that we just wrote. So to run that script, yarn run, and then we name the script, scss. 
and it is functioning right now. It tells us what the script says, and that's what it is doing. What we want to do is just save this main file so we can see what happens in the styles file, which I'll keep open so we can see it happen in real time. When I save this, it should write the main file into the styles file. And it did. And now everything on here in the main file comes from here, the base file, and is outputted here to the main.css file. So let's follow that one more time. We wrote the code in this base file. We imported it to this main file. When we saved it, it was compiled to this main file. Now, this doesn't seem like much with one file, so we'll do one more file so we can really see the importance of this. My app has one more component called the list. It'll be list.scss, and I don't want this file tracked, so underscore before that. Now I'm just going to import everything from there. If you are following along, please take everything from the list.css and put it in the list.scss. We won't change anything or convert it to SAS yet. We want to just show how the hierarchy is working. Now we want to import this into main SCSS. So let's go here, add import, dot slash components list. So that's the list that we just did. So in this main file is the base, is the list, and we're going to export both of those, get them compiled to this main.css, which we can then use in our app. So let's save that, and we'll see that happen. Now in main.css, we should have everything from the base and everything from the list. Here we are. There's the base, there's the list. So this is working exactly how we want to, and it will work with SAS code as well. We'll start actually learning SAS right after this. So just go to your app.js, and you'll see what we're importing now. What we were importing before were the CSS files, app CSS and list.css. What we want to import now is styles main.css, just one file. And that's the only file we need to import into React for all of our styling for this entire project. And that makes things a lot easier. Now let's just make sure it looks exactly the same as it did in our last lesson. And it should, all we have to say is yarn start and see what we get. This is what it used to look like, and this is what it now looks like. So we have this completely implemented. Great job, and I'll see you on the next one.